Hello there, Mavs. Welcome back to the update where we put the U in CMU TV. And first off, I'd like to apologize. Wait, we didn't do anything wrong. Well, yeah, but we talked about how nice the weather was finally getting, and right after that episode aired, we got hurricane-like winds. Now, I'm not saying we caused the windy weather, but it's not unlikely. We didn't knock on any wood after saying any of that, so do you think we jinxed it? And saying that the winds were on the same level as a hurricane is a bit of an exaggeration. But yeah, they, they were bad. I couldn't walk two steps without getting a mouthful of my own hair. That was the worst. I envied those with short hair, but maybe we did? I surely hope not. We wield far too much power potentially controlling the weather. So I'm assuming that it was probably just Mother Nature being Mother Nature. Roll it! indirect weather control is a thing or if we're being far too superstitious, one thing is for certain. We control giving you your weekly news. So Mavs, sit down, shut up, and get ready for your mind not only to be blown, but updated. The ASG election voting starts today at 11 to 3 p.m. in the UC hallway. Here you'll have the chance for your voice to be heard. So don't waste this opportunity and go vote. And don't worry, you will have plenty of time to make an informed decision since voting will continue until Friday. If you're stumped and unsure who will be the best candidate for you to vote for, then check out their debates on CMU TV's YouTube channel. On Monday, NAMI is hosting a stress awareness tabling event from 11 to 2 p.m. on the first floor of the UC. You'll find information about stress relief and what stress can do to your mental health. To help alleviate some of that stress before finals, the table will have countless coloring pages as a fun relieving activity. Mavs, let me tell you that Tuesday is Gouda Brie a good day, since it is National Grilled Cheese. This is, a very, this is a very important day, as I'm sure you can tell, so the Flat Top Grill is featuring specialty grilled cheeses for the occasion all day from 10.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. You can get a Greer, Brie, or Gouda Grilled Cheese for $6.99. The sandwich will come with a choice of bacon and onion, jalapeno and apple, raspberry jam, and a cup of tomato soup. No meal transfers are allowed, but trust me, nothing can get cheddar than this. Are you stumped on registration? Well, the SSE is hosting a registration help lab on Tuesday in Escalante room 302 from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Student success and engagement advisors, as well as peer advisors, will be available to help students with registration. They can help students select courses, register for said courses, and help them understand their degree requirements. On Tuesday from 5.30 to 8 p.m. in the UC Ballroom, join Circle K International for Project Linus. This is a biannual event where you will help make blankets for kids in hospitals. Circle K International will supply all of the supplies and some Chick-fil-A. On Wednesday, the National Society of Leadership is having a bake sale in the plaza. Head on over from 11 to 2 p.m. to snag yourself a delicious cook your brownie. What kind? Please, like I'd never give away a surprise, you'll just have to walk on over to find out. The Criminal Justice Association is hosting a community cleanup from 4 to 5 p.m. You'll first meet in Houston room 106 before going out to clean. No one likes being in a place cluttered with trash, so take the first step and help pick it up. Also on Wednesday, GEMS is hosting their annual ethics panel from 6 to 8 p.m. in Houston room 105. So if you've ever been curious on the different ethical issues surrounding the medical field, then this is the event for you, as medical professionals will be discussing those very issues and how they impact the medical field. On Oh Mavs, I hope you're ready to have some fun on Thursday, as PAC is hosting a campus-wide Capture the Flag. This massive event will consist of students splitting off into two different teams. Their goal will be to get the other team's flag and bring it to their base while protecting their own flag. This game is campus-wide, meaning that the campus is the only boundary that exists. Everything else is fair game. The stakes? High. The possibilities? Endless. There's another CABEX series on Thursday. This time it focuses on transition reports from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the UC room 213. You will get the necessary tips and tricks on making a new officer tr team transition as smooth as possible. We all know how rocky transitions between leaderships can be, 
I mean, look at any point in history. But this event will help minimize any possible transition bumps on, in your club leadership. On Thursday, the Sexual Citizens Club is hosting an upstander intervention workshop from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. in Houston 213. The workshop will illustrate how students are able to recognize help and prevent sexual assault for both themselves and others through upstanding intervention. Have you ever wondered why a, a professor teaching you in one way works better than a different professor's teaching style? Well, that might be because there's a teaching style that works best for you. And the SC SSC is hosting a workshop where you can find that style. At at the Learning Style Workshop from 11 to 12 p.m. in Houston 133. You will learn what learning style works best for you through a quiz. You will then have the opportunity to learn more through each style and gain tools to help you succeed academically. On Friday, there is an extremely cool event called Maverick Ma Marketplace. It's an event where students who have businesses, side hustles, or side projects can gather and, and sell goods or services to the community. It's an opportunity for them to show everyone what they have been working on outside of school. Plus, each business will be judged to get the chance to win a mentorship, business support, and other business development items. Come support your fellow Mavs from 4 to 6 p.m. in the plaza. On Saturday, join the Sustainability Council for a trail cleanup from 11 to 12 p.m. You will be cleaning the Audubon Trail in the Audubon Na Na Nature Preserve right along the Colorado River. It's filled with beautiful scenery and, will, and wildlife, so let's keep that beauty by helping out and cleaning up. The MED is hosting a Meow Wolf event on Saturday from 12 to 5 p.m. You will meet up at the Meow Wolf in Denver for a student group discount upon entry. Meow Wolf is quite a trippy, strange place, and, it can so and it's something you really can't explain without seeing it for yourself. Take advantage of this opportunity and check out a really cool building, art exhibit, museum. You can be the judge of that. On Sunday, or on Saturday, going on to Saturday, the outdoor program is hosting a Lady Crusher Moab climbing trip from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Join the OP for a rad day of lading climbing and cli camping outside the river in Moab, Utah. There is no experience required as two expert climbers will be willing to lead you every step of the way. Gear will be provided and you will return on Sunday afternoon. So if you are looking for some woman power, then ladies, this is the event for you. On Sunday, Gamma Phi Beta is hosting a sexual assault awareness panel in honor of Sexual Assault Awareness Month in the UC Ballroom from 3 to 7 p.m. Listen to experts from the community and CMU talk about their experience and their knowledge on campus. It's a hard subject to talk about, but it is a needed conversation. The event is welcome to everyone. What fun match of events we have for this week, Mavs. I'm very excited for that Capture the Flag event. I keep thinking of that one scene in Divergent, but I'm sure it'll be nothing like that. We don't have a Ferris wheel after all. Could you imagine a Maverick Ferris wheel right on campus? You could walk in late to class like, oh, sorry professor, I was late because I was riding the Ferris wheel. I know President Marshall has a bunch of plans for campus, but I say we give him this instead. I've been your lovely co-host, Jillian Richardson. Yeah, who needs a bigger trap for the gym that can go between super separate buildings? Clearly, a Ferris wheel is the best and far more superior option. Anyway, Mavs, I am your host, Brianna Sinclair. And until next week, keep it classy, Grand Junction. And, and stay, stay updated. updated.